eight miles southeast of Bedford, Indiana, just outside the Williamstown limits, is the Williams Covered Bridge. It was built in 1884 by Joseph J.J. Daniels, a prominent builder of Indiana covered bridges. Many of these are still standing today. Covered bridges were built to trick horses into thinking they were simply entering a very long barn. Both entrances cleverly disguised the fact that the horses were not only high above the ground, but over water. Yep, longest barn I've ever been in. The Williams Bridge is 373 feet long and was the longest covered bridge still in use in Indiana until it was closed in September of 2010. It's 14.7 feet wide and 19.2 feet tall. It easily handled later single lane car and truck traffic. With HAL Trust supports, it was absolutely built to last. My memories of the Williams Cover Bridge go back to when my mother took my brother and I. I can remember the sunshine flowing through the side of the bridge and the clickety clack of boards as our tires rolled across. She spoke about how my father took her here. She spoke of simpler times when people would just drive around and talk to one another. Much later on, I drove dates from my house in Greenwood, Indiana, nearly two hours just to be part of that legacy. Not to mention that the fear of driving across an old, ancient bridge that might fall into the river at any moment made them hold you closer than ever. Sadly, Many of Indiana's covered bridges are now gone. We don't rely on horses to get where we want to go. And when these are gone, they'll never be back. Those of us that can remember, reminisce about precious days gone by. Young dates holding our hands nervously and with hearts beating strongly as we drove slowly across the creaking boards below. Like a portal to another time, the Williams Covered Bridge. <laughs>